This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, we check out software for composing music made for people who can't compose music. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes mystery out of the effects and techniques. Going to some of your favorite Hollywood films, your host, Ryan Conley. And recently, we became aware of this new software that is making it possible for people that are not musically inclined to make music for their film. The tagline on their site is, we are all composers now. And while I definitely wouldn't go that far, this is a really fantastic idea for people trying to score their film without a budget. But I'm sure you want me to shut up so you could see what I'm talking about. So let's do that. So here it is, Filmstro. It's an incredibly simple and clean layout. I really dig that actually. And I'm in the paid version right now. If you look on their site, you see there is a free fully functional version that just has limited music. And then you have a 20 a month membership that gives you all of their music and you get new songs that they add weekly. So the monthly is definitely the better way to go, but it's pretty awesome that they offer this free starter version too. But back inside the software over here, you have your Explorer. In the Explorer, we see our category options next to each other with sort of opposing ideas. On the left side, we have lighter, more uplifting sounding pieces. And on the right, we have darker material, but similar in genre almost. So to pick a category, we click to enter it and find that we have a few options for music underneath that category, which we can audition by clicking play right here. We can see what sort of vibe we'd be getting from this track. And if you look down here, after we clicked on a piece, you can get some useful info about it, including a few keywords to clue you in on the style of this track, beats per minute, and what key the song is in. But before choosing it for our film here, we can click play again and start moving these sliders around down here to see what sort of different movements we can pull out of this one track. On the sliders here, we can mess with the momentum, which will adjust the feel of the momentum, meaning it won't actually speed up the music's tempo, but it will add elements to make it feel faster, like so. Then we have depth, which I'm not 100% sure how to describe this other than it changes the tone of the piece all the way left and you get a higher pitched instrument or voices and all the way right you get deeper sounds. Put it in the middle and you get a mix of the two. And finally we have power, which is pretty much exactly what you think it is. Here's an example of how much it changes the piece. is the movement of all the sliders that will give you a lot of control to customize what you're doing for that particular song. With the power all the way up and momentum all the way down, you are getting a slower driven feel. Power all the way down and momentum all the way up, you have this fast feel, but one that feels like it hasn't fully taken off yet. Jack them both all the way up and we get the full power of the track. Or we can take those two sliders all the way down and get a bass line of the track, which is just this nice, almost underbed of music. But before we select a track, let's bring in a video, which we'll do by clicking right here, navigate to the video that we want to use and selecting it. Then once we have the video in, we could start previewing tracks to see what we think will work with it. We grab this one and drag it down into the timeline area so that we can start customizing the music to fit our video. And here we have our tabs for all the things we can keyframe. Click on one and you can see the envelope for you to control, even the volume for the video and the master volume for your music so you can fade it in and out and all that goodness. On any one of these, you can create keyframes where you need and then just adjust that parameter to start manipulating the music to fit the piece. Then once you're done with that, you export, which you can do music and video or just the music. Of course, I'm going just music, being sure to turn off my video track for audio as well so that we're only exporting the music from this to fit into the edit. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Super simple, but very flexible. Now we're gonna do some sponsor loving and then we'll attempt to use this Beast to compose a scene from one of my shorts. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, or innovator, domain.com is a place to go when that next idea hits you. I know you probably heard the list of available domain extensions. It's growing, but you now have the opportunity to build your brand in ways that were never before possible. Choose from a growing list of 400 plus domain name extensions like .com, .org, .design, and .club. And to show you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices by domain names, web hosting, email. Just use the coupon code FILMRIOT at domain.com's checkout and get that 25% off. And when you think domain names, think domain.com. You didn't say anything the entire time. What, are you okay? Eat poop. Logo. So jumping right back in, I selected this scene here, which we'll go ahead and watch really quick.
and I decided on this song to try to work with it. First thing I'm gonna do is adjust everything to find a good starting point. Now I'll fade the music in so it isn't just slamming into the piece, and now I can watch it back and adjust the faders in real time to picture. I'm moving the power around to increase or decrease the presence in the scene, moving the momentum to step up the pace, and moving the depth around to give variation to the tone of it. After I've done that, I can start clicking through the tabs to see the keyframes that were created by my real-time adjustments. Then I can refine each moment if I need to, or delete keyframes and program it in, which I'll be doing a lot because I want multiple sliders adjusting at once. And in the end, we have this. say I do dig it there are definitely downsides though like how it doesn't transition between tracks if you want to switch what track you were using you have to stop the one and start the other no overlapping best you can do is fade out of one and then into the other there's definitely a lot of customizing you can do but not as much as I would like when working with a fluctuating narrative piece like I usually make and finally I would really love to be able to add hits and risers to cue transitions or add little accents throughout the piece I think it would be great to implement this somehow but does this replace a composer it it absolutely 100% does not. And I don't think Filmstro wants it to. I think the intention behind this product is to make musical composition for your production more accessible for people who don't have the luxury of working with a composer. I also think this has some growing to do still before it's fully usable with all kinds of narrative genres like fast paced type productions. Action is pretty difficult to make work with something like this, but it's not impossible. However, for more drama or indie type work or event stuff like weddings or even commercials, I think this thing is pretty incredible. So bottom line, it's not perfect by any means, but it is still a really awesome new piece of software that I'm very excited to watch grow. And if you're looking to start adding music to your productions and don't have a composer, definitely check it out right here because they're also hooking you up with a free month of their pro version. You just use the coupon code FILMRIOT and you get that free month, which is pretty awesome. Logo. That's it for today. Again, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which you can find in the notes below to see what kind of crazy action making madness we are up to in Vancouver. I'll see you guys next week when I find an old man baby and raise him as my own. Oh.